All right, this video is to put together some of the forearm stuff, and I feel like I didn't really show the hammer exercises that well. But I want to put these all together into basically what's a, a super forearm workout. And you're going to want to do this. This is going to get you get you ready for for the the Zombie Killer Max stick workout that I'm I'm putting together, and it should be done within the next week and get that posted. So with the hammer. We're just going to focus on the on the forearms right now. So this is this is hammer and stone, man. This this is the best way right here to just get those forearms and your grip just maxed out. So here it is. You're just raising your hammer or your weight, just a, a stick with a you know a bottle full of stones or something. You know you can take this to the end of a stick and you've just got something you can move. An axe, a hammer. Oh well, you know what? Don't use an axe, man. End up chopping into yourself, but you get the drift. You know, just a stick that's weighted. Now come up, and you're gonna hit that forearm from the same, you know, from the the two different sides on that same set. Just go ahead and choose your number, however many is comfortable for you with whatever weight you're using. You go around, we do the other hand. You see, it's just raising up. You come around. And it's the same thing, it's just reverse muscles. And keep a tight grip. I mean, just, just clamp down because that's, you know, any little bit is extra. And it also builds the calluses when you, when you grip tightly on there. Now, you'll do your sets of that, and then you'll go straight into this thing, this whatever, Taekwondo stick rolling deal, right? Where you've got a weight, and there's just a little five pound weight but you're keeping your arms out, keeping it going, keeping it going. Go ahead and do that sucker. Roll it up. Now what I want you to do, as soon as that weight gets up to the top, where you're going to start rolling it back down, stop, and then crank against it. Grip as tight as you can. And here I'm pushing up with this forearm and down with this one. So my left arm is working the back of my forearm and on my right one it's working that bulge there and then reverse it and do the other one you see just strain against it like that just really go for it isometrics and then roll it down roll it down and do whatever weight you're comfortable with again you can do this sucker with you know a, a milk jug with some water in it um, a water bottle that you find you put some sand in it and tie that to your rope and just blast this sucker up, blast it up and when you're letting it go down letting that weight down, control it, don't let it just slip through your hands and this is getting your shoulders everything alright you put that down and go back to the hammer go back to the hammer and now this time we're going to do it this way everything comes back to the punch just extend it forward switch hands Pick your number, you know, whatever you're comfortable with. So, there you go. And now, here's the next one with the hammer. This one, you do the blacksmith. Where you come up, but instead of coming back down, you're going to bring it up, and in a single motion, over your head. You see that? Up, 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 up. Now this is a killer, killer, killer workout. Go ahead and put these together. You're going to want to have the stick and the hammer. You want to do it there? Go ahead. See what I'm saying? You can you can do a lot with just a hammer. 
and I'll get into more later where this is really going to build your punch and that that snap at the end where you get it in there I mean it's blowing my mind we got nice heavy bags at the gym and I'm really sinking them in they're really sinking in good now you know, I got to make up for for the fact that I've got kind of slow hands So there you go, and then you go back and roll that roll that sucker up. Roll that sucker up. And then you would go from this, after you've burned your forearms good, do your ladder punches. Do those ladder punches. Go, go, go. You can make these just arm punches because it's it'll tend to be kind of uncomfortable standing static like this and pivoting too much. So let your shoulders go into it. Burn those up. And you'll really feel that in here. And then when you get on the heavy bag later, you're going to notice, man, these gloves feel like nothing. Punch hard.